called a waterfall. Okay. And so it needs to fall like water, so oh, just right. let that be. So that when your interviewee becomes your stylist, it's never going to be a straightforward interview. There was a lot of laughing and only a little bit of teasing. The thing is, is that Brian genuinely doesn't get out that often, you know, and so when he does come out, we want to make sure that these experiences are memory making. And so that's what we're doing now, aren't we, Brian? You can be wherever you want to. All right, yeah. Are you all right, Brian? Oh, you need his oh, hearing Brian on. Connolly yes. got one sidekick. Yeah, that's yeah. Who's the one? I knew I recognised it. <laughs> no, because honestly, one. the thing is, it's really funny. We're laughing about this. He'll, he will call me at three o'clock in the morning and go, Did she mean that? Am I really your sidekick? Like, genuinely, I'll get that phone call. <laughs> right, I, well, I have to do an interview. Okay, so. Yes. Um, <laughs> They might not be the easiest pair for getting serious answers, but they're perfect for Panto. And what could be better for the fashionista Gok Wan than a story involving a makeover? They're starring in Cinderella and Gok is playing the fairy Gok mother. My job is to take Cinderella from being feeling unloved and uncapped and unwashed sometimes and taking getting her ready for the ball but also not only developing the way that she looks, developing her mind to give her enough confidence to come out there and say actually I do right. love the prince. Right. Brian Connolly plays Cinderella's best friend, Buttons. Well, I feel uh, that this show uh, falls between the ethereal quality demanded by the intellectuals and the cultural necessity of the urban lifestyle from which it grew. Yeah, so that was one attempt at a serious answer, but what I really wanted to know was how they're keeping audiences interested in such a well-known story. It's magical. It's, you know, kids have got their iPads, their computers, you know, their iPhones. It's just... It's live and that's so special and kids aren't used to that. And the whole family, you know, how many family shows are there now? You've got your musicals, but that's it, you know. And the fact that me and you are in it. That's a lovely answer. Yeah, you did I was really being well. serious. You were, that was really lovely. It was nice to see that shade of you. Really? Yeah. Thank you. It's the fourth production for the unlikely duo. So what is it that brings a fashion icon and a much-loved comedian together? It's completely ridiculous that Brian Connolly and Gokwan should ever be such good friends and work so well. Why? But it just kind of does. Why is it ridiculous? Because I'm really talented and uh, <laughs> you're really old. Uh, oh, so all of that stuff. God. But it's true. And I think that that is the other part of this show is that when you walk through those incredible doors of this incredible theatre, you walk into a space and not only are you instantly surprised that this coupling on stage works, but also you've got this visual, which is basically like a, a massive explosion. It's a, it's a firework display of beautiful beautiful, beautiful things. Even I want to go and see. <laughs> and if you do, then it's playing at the Hippodrome in Bristol from December to January. But after performing in Strictly Come Dancing last year, I couldn't leave without getting a dance with Brian. Sangeeta Lal, ITV News.